Hello, it is Taylor here, and we're going to do a gimmicky pour. Everyone's pouring out of colanders and all this other stuff, so we're going to pour out of a teapot and make some ribbons. Hope you'll join me. Here's what we're using. Two paint, water, gloss, medium, flow, toss, silicone will be in the teapot, and that's the ratio of each of these things, more or less. Shameless gimmick pour. Yes, we're going to do it. Here is our palette. Let's see, I don't know if I can really get a good color scheme, but hopefully. Be right back. So I'm back. So no one's ever asked me how I mix my paint. So I'm going to show you anyways. <laughs> How's that for, um, anyways, I'm putting in a little splash here of gloss medium because I really want to bump up my color. I've already mixed all of my paints, but only with water and to a little bit of a runny consistency because, um, I want to make sure that once I add these, it gets closer to that honey flow yogurt, liquid yogurt flow thing. Um, so I've already got these pre-mixed with water. Use distilled water if you're going to let them sit around for multiple weeks, otherwise you might get mold. So I'm putting a bit of gloss medium. I'm going to shoot in a bit of paint. More or less it's one to one, give or take today. Um, really the gloss medium has enough acrylic formula in it not to be adversely affected by um, me adding the water ahead of time. The water breaks up the acrylic and the gloss medium and the flow trawl kind of add that element back in. So we're not actually messing up with the ratio too much. Whoops, bloop. So it is not polished, it is not professional, and it is not profane. I will not be cussing because no one will die and there's no need to cuss and I need to practice not cussing anyways, right? But you wouldn't know that. So here we go with the green. So basically, roughly one to one, probably a little bit more gloss medium. I shouldn't have used that much because it's kind of expensive even with my coupon. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix that and I'll be right back. Now I don't know if you can see it here, but sometimes when you're adding water or whatnot, your paint will start looking lumpy. If it starts look, looking lumpy, keep stirring. Think gravy. Just keep stirring. Don't give up. Um, yeah, don't be afraid of the paint for crying out loud, people. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny when Anne-Marie said she's getting a lot of questions because people freaked out. Because, But it's getting lumpy. Yeah, it's just like scrambled eggs. It's just like anything else. When you mix something in it it will not incorporate fully and you just have to keep stirring. So I'll continue stirring off off the video and I'll show you the recipe once again in case you missed it. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm adding the Floetrol. See, shake before using. Floetrol has a lubricant in it similar to um, silicone, only lighter, but you have to shake it if you want to get cells from Floetrol, although it doesn't seem to always be guaranteed. So there you go, I'm shaking it, and I'm going to add a little smidgen to everything. Smidgen, two, three, four, drizzle. So plot one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just think bartender. No, I've never been one. One, two, three, four. And so far right now I have the honey-like consistency. So hopefully that will maintain, because a lot of times by the time you're done mixing, you've got to rinse, repeat, or add more water, because it seems to uh, close up. This paint I'm wagering is going to keep marshmallow in, marshmallowing on me, which means it gets gloopy and weird. So now I'm going to mix all these, and I'll be back. Okay, so we know you're not here for the paint. You're not here for the chemistry. You're here for the pour. It's all about the pour, baby. I know it's all about the pour. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm using my little teapot, which, um, yes, we're going to, it has little strainer things in it. You can see that. Yep. And we're going to use our little teapot and start out with white. Did it get marshmallowy? Uh, it should be all right. I seem to always be wobbly. It's all good. Okay, here we go. White. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to do a really tall pour because we kind of want the paints to layer up nicely because if I do a tall pour, there will be a lot of interference and we might get mud. So I'm going to be doing a low pour. 
using the left hand because the right hand isn't a happy camper right now. And with a flow trawl, oops, I didn't put any silicone in anything like I meant to. I actually should be letting my paint sit and settle a little bit before I start introducing them. But see, you might be able, no, you can't see. Yeah, you might sort of see a little bit of cell action already going on. That's due to the flow trawl and bubbles. So I'm gonna put you on hold again and let my paint set up a bit and I'll be right back. In the spirit of light and our heartedness, we're gonna do all this stuff. Everyone's doing funky pores. Everyone's using a comb. Everyone's using alcohol. So we're gonna try and do it all on this one pour. Cheap entertainment, get it where you can. Okay, so now, Everything's been sitting a little bit, settling a little bit, bubbles coming out. I put a little bit of silicone in here because everyone only puts a few drops. Um, and I usually go, psh, and Richard goes, Pshh. So here we go. A few little drops of silicone into the teapot from a pond high. Yes, we may get debris. Four, five, six. See how that goes. Okay. So we've got white, blue. Let's go with green. Green is next. Can you see? I don't know. Lights. Lighting kind of sucks right now, but that's okay. Oh, look at that. It looks like that's gotten firm in the few minutes it's sat. Don't you love that? I love that. And that's still looks Better. We might use all the paint. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now we do purple. It's like Easter egg time, only not in pastels. Not sure. Oh no, I'm dropping something icky in there. Don't want to do that. Oh. That's one thing about the flow trawl. You've got to strain it, otherwise, you end up with the flow trawl boogers. A lot like paint boogers. Okay, that's good. That'll do. Okay. Blue. That's good. Blue is good. Good to go on blue. Here we go, blue. You can fast forward if you want to see the pour. Don't we all do it? Shh. We're all guilty. It's all about the poor. I call it my porn. P O U R N. That's got marshmallow. That's look. That's going straight to the bottom, whether I want it to or not. Good old trusty white. Titanium white, heavy stuff, dude. Oh no, everything's kind of dropping through, but that's okay. I will not be stirring it to mix. Keep a little bit of extra paint if I can. Let's go with a... So we'll definitely get ribbons, I would think, going through the little col colander part of the teapot. Keep a little bit. Maybe not so much. Okay, don't want to overwhelm with white. Overwhelm with a little more blue. And it's awesome, we're still recording. My phone is rocking it. Okay, so this will be interesting. I have a small area to work in here. Let's move things out of the way. Okay. Let us see. Do I want to do the middle? Do I want to try to do zigzags? And then I'm thinking too hard. Don't think hard. Just pour, people. Pour. That's it's not going through my spigot very quickly. Okay, that's interesting.
I don't know how much you can see. It's kind of iffy. I'm sorry. This could go to mud or it could be totally awesome. Okay, maybe a bigger teapot next time. What do you think? Laying down ribbons. See, you can just lay those ribbons down. See how much of an agony effect. Whoops, don't want overflow. And yes, I'm pouring over stuff. I'm starting to get mud, so I'm going to have mud at the edges here. Mud, you can be down there. We don't mind mud on the edges because it'll run off most of the time anyway. Okay, this is not a fast way to pour. I would not recommend doing it with a tiny teapot. <laughs> too slow, too slow, man. You're killing me, man. Oops. What do you do? Okay, give it a fat pour. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Yeah, meh, I don't know about this. It's okay, it's an experiment. Have some fun, experiment, don't freak out. Crazy, man. Crazy. Oh, see, I don't have just a canvas to catch, so. Okay. Holy moly, man, that's a lot of paint, man. Lots of paint. Don't know if I'm loving it. I'll make sure you can see it. If we move it around too much, we'll get Ziggy Zags. Ooh, wearing my paint, wearing the paint. We're probably going to get some Ziggy Zags. Yes, we're losing cool stuff to gain other cool stuff. Got to surf it, got to roll with it. It's going to be super cool when it's done. At least that's what we're going to tell ourselves. I'm not sure I'm going to want to do the comb through and... The alcohol thing is kind of cool. Let's dry that down a little bit, then we can pull it back to get that agate. There we go. Wow, that one came out pretty crazy and cool. I think it's cool. Looks like that schmutz stuck to my thumb. Let me get the schmutz off my thumb. <laughs> Is this cool or is it cool? I think it's pretty darn cool actually. I really think it came out cool. I'm trying to see if we can balance some of that chaos. Got a lot of chaos going on here. Yeah, we got a little zigging and zagging. I'm trying to get that more visual interest to that corner over there, which I believe I put my finger in, and that's what happens when you put your finger into paint. It makes it boring. See, it's continuing to develop just as it sits there. Hmm. I don't know, man. What can we do with this film? Let's see. Oh, man, be interesting. Be interesting. I just want you to be interesting. Whoa, mud and interest. One is muddy, one's interesting. The spout is muddy. Okay, I think we've got some pretty cool stuff going on. We've got a lot of cells, and if I use the um, embosser on it, we'll have even more. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and pull some more silicone out, and we might go crazy with the cells, or we might not. I'm just going to put you on hold while I plug everything in. Okay, here goes the embosser. 
keep it in pop bubbles and hopefully pull up some silicone. Maybe, maybe not. Since it's a pretty thick pour, we might continue to pull cells as it dries and sets up. Boring. Boring. Okay, that seems to be all we're going to be pulling out. <clears throat> so as it dries, it's going to set up more and more cells will come out and more colors will come to the top. Now, do I want to... I don't want to ribbonize. I don't want to alcohol. I could alcohol that little drop there, that little area. I want you to go, gosh darn it. Okay, there's a tiny bit of alcohol. Okay, I'm going to bring you down and take a look at it before checking out. Whoops, do not drop anything into the painting. Okay, here we go. Some nifty stuff. Ooh. Boring part, still boring even with alcohol in it. Come on, focus, focus. So there we go, that's a teapot pour. I recommend using a larger teapot. <laughs> but we got a lot of interest and a lot of ribbons. And we got some cells. And it's going to continue to develop. Gosh, focusing seems to be an issue tonight. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, that was a really long video. Sorry about that. But there we go. I will. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. If not, that's fine. Just keep watching or not and for fast forward and have fun. Fear not. It is just paint and no one will die. So pour on people. Pour on.